Three misfit teens rebel against anything you got. It's the 1955 smash hit, Rebel Without a Cause. Next. Welcome to Saturday Night Cinema with your hosts, Sean Higgins, Jackie Brown, and me, Ryan Tucker. Welcome, movie buffs. Tonight, we offer the second movie in our James Dean Film Festival. Have you ever been the new kid in town? I moved to my beloved Spokane my freshman year of high school, and in hindsight, I definitely should have bought a red jacket and a switchblade. If you haven't guessed, tonight we're watching Rebel Without a Cause. It was released in 1955 and has a PG-13 rating. Nominated for three Academy Awards, one for writing by Nicholas Ray, he also directed the picture, before he started writing movies, he studied architecture under Frank Lloyd Wright. Crazy, huh? The next nomination was for supporting actress Natalie Wood, who I first knew as Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. In one of the few musicals that I actually like, West Side Story. As fate would have it, we're going to bring you West Side Story in two weeks here on Saturday Night Cinema. The third Academy Award nomination went to Sal Mineo for Best Supporting Actor. Sal had the craziest life ever. If any of the things I'm about to tell you interest you, you should check out a movie that James Franco wrote and directed in 2011 called Sal, which follows the last hours of his short life. Sal was in a legit gang in the Bronx at eight years old and got busted for robbery at 10. They gave him the option of going to juvie or professional acting school. What? Pretty sure they don't offer that anymore to troubled youths. Of course, his acting career is much more vast than Dean's mere three movies. After Rebel, you should go watch Exodus. It's awesome. And be sure to catch Sal next week right here as we present the movie Giant. Rebel Without a Cause in its age wears well. Some of the innocence might, be a, might seem a bit hokey, but the strong performances stand the test of time. I've seen it as a teen and I've seen it as an adult, and the emotion is still strong. There are scenes in this movie that are like paintings to me, vivid and powerful. Significant colors and the use of light is like a paintbrush. I can't see a person in the headlights of a car without thinking of Miss Wood starting the chicky race. Iconic. The other thing about this movie that I think makes it continue to be popular for over 50 years is the odd and tragic deaths to all the main characters, in real life that is. Of course, James Dean's automobile accident where he died instantly, Natalie Wood's drowning, Sal Mineo being stabbed to death by a drifter, and even Nick Adams who overdosed on prescription drugs. Now that I've officially bummed you out, you're probably sitting there saying, you're tearing me apart! One more thing before we start. Be here next week when Sean Higgins hosts the third and final installment in our James Dean Film Festival. It's the big one, Giant. That's next Saturday, beginning at 8, here on KSPS. Now, get ready for drama as James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Sal Mineo star in Rebel Without a Cause on Saturday Night Cinema. <laughs> 